Old Trafford has been home to many football greats since it opened its doors on February the 19th, 1910. It's helped to make legends of the likes of Matt Busby, Bobby Charlton, George Best and Alex Ferguson. Another member of Manchester United's Hall of Fame has to be Eric Cantona, who won the hearts of the club's supporters despite English fans' traditional antipathy towards the French. Eric Daniel Pierre Cantona began his career with Auxerre in 1983. After a steady start in the French leagues, he moved to Leeds in 1992 to be a part of the final First Division season. Following his short stint with the Yorkshire club, he was transferred to Manchester United in 1993, the inaugural season for the English Premier League. Man U had been having a disappointing season up to the Frenchman's signing. With strikers out of form, Cantona was added to the team to increase its goal-scoring options. After showing signs of his endless talent and contributing on a weekly basis, Man U won the inaugural EPL title. For the next four seasons, Cantona led from the front, scoring a total of 64 goals from 144 appearances for the Red Devils. While he was on the side, Man U won four out of a possible five championships. And he earned the title of King Eric. However, it was for an incident that occurred on the 25th of January 1995, for which King Eric will undoubtedly be remembered. In an away match against Crystal Palace, after being sent off by the referee for a vengeful kick on Palace defender Richard Shaw, Eric launched into a Kung Fu style kick against a Crystal Palace fan, Matthew Simmons, and followed up with a volley of punches. For his best Bruce Lee impersonation, Cantona received two weeks imprisonment. Eric Cantona was sentenced this morning by the Croydon magistrates to two weeks imprisonment. Notice of appeal against sentence was lodged immediately and a bail application made to the magistrates, which was refused. A further application was then made to the Crown Court, which was granted, and the appeal listed for hearing at the Crown Court at 10 a.m. on Friday, 31st of March. However, thanks to the best efforts of Manchester United and his legal team, Cantona's sentence was reduced and finally he was handed down the penalty of a suspension from football until the following October and fined £10,000. He also received 120 hours of community service for his handiwork. Internationally, Cantona played his first game for France in 1987. Unfortunately, under his direction, Le Bleu had a terrible run of form. They failed to qualify for any World Cups and had disappointing results in all other international tournaments. In the build-up to Euro 96, Cantona was handed the captaincy. However, due to his then current suspension, he was unable to cement his spot in the national side. Before he could return, a young up-and-coming playmaker was brought into the French national side by the name of Zinedine Zidane. French manager Aim Jacquet decided not to reselect Cantona as he believed that the team was doing well without his presence. He also wanted to show faith in his young side. His decision proved to be the right one when Zidane led France to victory in the 1998 FIFA World Cup. Cantona never played for France again, despite being in his best form in the EPL. King Eric played his final game for Manchester United on May the 11th, 1997 against West Ham. His retirement announcement came out of the blue, causing much consternation amongst the Man U fans. King Eric's short career at Old Trafford may have been marred by controversy, but for his role in Manchester United's revival during the 1990s, he will forever be regarded as one of the greatest players to take to the pitch for the Red Devils. Oh, my God.